For decades in the U.S., there have been isolated incidents of removal of Confederate monuments and memorials, although generally opposed in public opinion polls, and several U.S. states have passed laws over 115 years to hinder or prohibit further removals. In the wake of the Charleston Church shooting in June 2015, several municipalities in the United States removed monuments and memorials on public property dedicated to the Confederate States of America. The momentum accelerated in August 2017 after the Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville, Virginia. The removals were driven by the belief that the monuments glorify white supremacy and memorialize a treasonous government whose founding principle was the perpetuation and expansion of slavery. Many of those who object to the removals, like President Trump, believe that the artifacts are part of the cultural heritage of the United States. The vast majority of these Confederate monuments were built during the era of Jim Crow laws (1877–1954) and the Civil Rights Movement (1954–1968). Detractors claim that they were not built as memorials, but as a means of intimidating African Americans and reaffirming white supremacy. The monuments have thus become highly politicized, according to Eleanor Harvey, a senior curator at the Smithsonian American Art Museum and a scholar of Civil War history. If white nationalists and neo-Nazis are now claiming this as part of their heritage, they have essentially co-opted those images and those statues beyond any capacity to neutralize them again. In some southern states, state law restricts or prohibits altogether the removal or alteration of public Confederate monuments. According to Stan Deaton, senior historian at the Georgia Historical Society, these laws are the Old South imposing its moral and its political views on us forevermore. This is what led to the Civil War, and it still divides us as a country. We have competing visions not only about the future but about the past. <laughs> <laughs> Background Most of the Confederate monuments concerned were built in periods of racial conflict, such as when Jim Crow laws were being introduced in the late 19th century and at the start of the 20th century or during the civil rights movement of the 1950s and 1960s. These two periods also coincided with the 50th anniversary and the American Civil War centennial. The peak in construction of Civil War monuments occurred between the late 1890s up to 1920, with a second, smaller peak in the late 1950s to mid 1960s, according to historian Jane Daly from University of Chicago. In many cases, the purpose of the monuments was not to celebrate the past but rather to promote a white supremacist future. Another historian, Karen Cox, from the University of North Carolina at Charlotte, has written that the monuments are a legacy of the brutally racist Jim Crow era. A historian from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, James Lelutis, stated that the funders and backers of these monuments are very explicit that they are requiring a political education and a legitimacy for the Jim Crow era and the right of white men to rule. Adam Goodhart, Civil War author and director of the Star Center at Washington College, stated in National Geographic, their 20th century artifacts in the sense that a lot of it had to do with a vision of national unity that embraced Southerners as well as Northerners, but importantly still excluded black people. <laughs> <laughs> Academic commentary In an August 2017 statement on the monument's controversy, the American Historical Association AHA said that to remove a monument is not to erase history, but rather to alter or call attention to a previous interpretation of history. The AHA noted that most monuments were erected without anything resembling a democratic process and recommended that it was time to reconsider these decisions. According to the AHA, most Confederate monuments were erected during the late 19th and early 20th century, and this undertaking was "...part and parcel of the initiation of legally mandated segregation and widespread disenfranchisement across the South." According to the AHA, memorials to the Confederacy erected during this period were intended, in part, to obscure the terrorism required to overthrow Reconstruction, and to intimidate African Americans politically and isolate them from the mainstream of public life." A later wave of monument building coincided with the civil rights movement, and according to the AHA, "...these symbols of white supremacy are still being invoked for similar purposes." 
According to historian Adam Goodhart, the statues were meant to be symbols of white supremacy and the rallying around them by white supremacists will likely hasten their demise. Elijah Anderson, a professor of sociology at Yale University, said the statues, "...really impacts the psyche of black people." Harold Holzer, the director of the Roosevelt House Public Policy Institute at Hunter College, agreed that the statues were designed to belittle African Americans. Del Upton, chair of the Department of Art History at the University of California, Los Angeles, wrote that, "...the monuments were not intended as public art," but rather were installed, "...as affirmations that the American polity was a white polity," and that because of their explicitly white supremacist intent, their removal from civic spaces was a matter, "...of justice, equity, and civic values." In a 1993 book, author Frank McKenney argued otherwise. These monuments were communal efforts, public art, and social history. He wrote, ex soldiers and politicians had difficult time raising funds to erect monuments, so the task mostly fell to the women, the mothers, widows, and orphans, the bereaved fiancés and sisters of the soldiers who had lost their lives. Many ladies memorial associations were formed in the decades following the end of the Civil War, most of them joining the United Daughters of the Confederacy following its inception in 1894. The women were advised to remember that they were buying art, not metal and stone. The history the monuments celebrated told only one side of the story, however, one that was openly pro-Confederate, Upton argues. Furthermore, Confederate monuments were erected without the consent or even input of Southern African Americans, who remembered the Civil War far differently, and who had no interest in honoring those who fought to keep them enslaved. According to Civil War historian Judith Giesberg, professor of history at Villanova University, "...white supremacy is really what these statues represent." Robert Seigler in his study of Confederate monuments in South Carolina found that out of the over 170 that he documented, only five monuments were found dedicated to the African Americans who had been used by the Confederacy working on fortifications, and had served as musicians, teamsters, cooks, servants, and in other capacities. Four of those were to slaves and one to a musician, Henry Brown. Cheryl Bernard, president of the Alliance for the Restoration of Cultural Heritage, argued against the removal of Confederate war monuments in an op-ed for the national interest, writing, From my vantage point, the idea that the way to deal with history is to destroy any relics that remind you of something you don't like, is highly alarming. Bernard compares the removal to historic cleansing in other countries, stating, Tour the archaeological ruins of any formerly great civilization, and you will invariably encounter inscriptions that have been chiseled away, faces that have been obliterated, heads that have been struck off the rumps of their statues. Someone overthrows or assassinates a predecessor and orders his or her name and image removed. What could have remained is their story, and any lessons later humans might draw from it. Eric Foner, a historian of the Civil War and biographer of Lincoln, argued that more statues of African Americans like Nat Turner should be constructed. Alfred Brophy, a professor of law at the University of Alabama, argued the removal of the Confederate statues facilitates forgetting, although these statues were reinscribed images of white supremacy. Brophy also stated that the Lee statue in Charlottesville should be removed. Civil War historian James I. Robertson Jr. referred to the current climate to dismantle or destroy Confederate monuments as an age of idiocy and motivated by elements hell bent on tearing apart unity that generations of Americans have painfully constructed. And the monuments were not a Jim Crow signal of defiance. History of removals The removals were marked by events in Louisiana and Virginia within the span of two years. In Louisiana, after the Charleston Church shooting of 2015, the city of New Orleans removed its Confederate memorials two years later. A few months later, in August 2017, a state of emergency was declared in Virginia after a Unite the Right rally against the removal of the Robert Edward Lee statue in Charlottesville turned violent. Other events followed across the United States. In Baltimore, for example, the city's Confederate statues were removed on the night of August 15 to 16, 2017. Mayor Catherine Pugh said that she ordered the overnight removals to preserve public safety. 
Similarly, in Lexington, Kentucky, Mayor Jim Gray asked the City Council on August 16, 2017 to approve the relocation of two statues from a courthouse. In the three years since the Charleston shooting, Texas has removed 31 memorials, the most removals of any state. Topic: <laughs> Organizations encouraging monument removal. Following the Unite the Right rally of 2017, a Twitter account named Destroy This Statue at Destroy Statue has been posting pictures of all the Confederate monuments identified by the Southern Poverty Law Center, with links to a map showing their locations and a suggestion that it's time for a road trip. The Make It Right project was founded in 2018 to encourage removal of Confederate monuments. Destruction of monuments In North Carolina and Georgia, where removal of Confederate monuments is prohibited by law, frustrated protesters have destroyed three monuments as of October, 2018. In Durham, North Carolina, several protesters toppled and severely damaged the Confederate soldiers' monument outside the old Durham County Courthouse on August 15, 2017. Eight activists were arrested in connection with the action, but the charges were dropped. On August 20, 2018, Silent Sam, a highly controversial memorial statue at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, was toppled by as yet unidentified protesters, after a long history of protests, defacing, and attempts to get it removed. It was not seriously damaged. What is to happen to the toppled statue is a statewide issue that has not yet October, 2018, been decided. In Sylvania, Georgia, the Screven County Confederate Dead Monument was pulled off its pedestal and virtually destroyed between August 30 and 31, 2018. <laughs> <laughs> Laws hindering removals In Alabama 2017, Georgia early 20th century, Mississippi 2004, North Carolina 2015, South Carolina 2000, Tennessee 2013, updated 2016, and Virginia 1902, state laws have been passed to impede, or in the cases of Alabama, Georgia, and North Carolina prohibit altogether the removal or alteration of public Confederate monuments. Attempts to repeal these laws have not 2018 been successful. Alabama's law, the Alabama Memorial Preservation Act, was passed in May 2017, North Carolina's law, the Cultural History Artifact Management and Patriotism Act, in 2015. Tennessee passed its Tennessee Heritage Protection Act in 2016. It requires a two-thirds majority of the Tennessee Historical Commission to rename, remove, or relocate any public statue, monument, or memorial. In response to events in Memphis see below, a 2018 amendment prohibited municipalities from selling or transferring ownership of memorials without a waiver. The Tennessee Historical Commission has never issued a waiver since it was established in 1919. The amendment also allows any entity, group or individual with an interest in a Confederate memorial to seek an injunction to preserve the memorial in question. According to the New York Times, the Tennessee Act shows an express intent to prevent municipalities in Tennessee from taking down Confederate memorials." The same has been said about Florida's law. The removal of the Confederate flag from the South Carolina Capitol required a two-thirds vote of both houses of the legislature, as would the removal of any other Confederate monument in South Carolina. Confederate monuments are largely located in cities, which, like other American cities, in the 20th century became more black and more liberal politically than the remainder of the states in which they are located. In another legal impediment to removal, the Board of Trustees of the University of North Carolina prohibited for 16 years the renaming of any university memorials. This was triggered by the university's 2014 decision to rename Saunders Hall see below. <laughs> Public opinion A 2017 Reuters poll found that 54% of American adults stated that the monuments should remain in all public spaces, and 27% said they should be removed, while 19% said they were unsure. The results were split along racial and political lines, with Republicans and whites preferring to keep the monuments in place, and Democrats and minorities preferring their removal. 
Another 2017 poll, by HuffPost, YouGov, found that 48% of respondents favored the remain option, 33% favored removal, and 18% were unsure. What to do with the plinths pedestals. In the case of many monuments, after they are removed the pedestals or plinths remain. What to do with them has been the subject of some discussion. In the case of the toppled Silent Sam Monument at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, two scholars propose leaving the empty pedestal, shorn all original images and inscriptions, which eliminates the offending tribute while still preserving a record of what these communities did and where they did it. The most effective way to commemorate the rise and fall of white supremacist monument building is to preserve unoccupied pedestals as the ruins that they are broken tributes to a morally bankrupt cause. In Baltimore, one of the four empty plinths has been used, with eventual city tolerance though not approval, for a statue of a pregnant black woman, naked from the waist up, holding a baby in a brightly covered sling on her back, with a raised golden fist, Madre Luz. Mother Light. The statue was first placed in front of the monument before its removal, then raised to the pedestal. According to the artist Pablo Macchioli, his original idea was to construct a statue of Harriet Tubman throwing a brick, but he rejected that as too violent and chose instead a pregnant mother as a symbol of life. I feel like people would understand and respect that. The statue has been vandalized several times. According to a writer discussing the removal of the Baltimore monuments, she is defiant. H. Er imposing presence combines maternal nurturing with power. Madre Luz is Gaia, the triple goddess, and the mother's knot. She is the American statue of maternity. She is the African seed of the Wawa tree. She is a black flame. Topic. Removed monuments and memorials Topic. National Fort Bliss After receiving complaints, Forest Road was renamed Cassidy Road, in honor of the Lieutenant General Richard T. Cassidy, former post commander. Topic. Alabama Capitol, on June 24, 2015, in the wake of the Charleston Church shooting on June 17, 2015, on the order of Governor Robert J. Bentley, the four Confederate flags and their poles were removed from the Confederate Memorial Monument. Birmingham In August 2017, William A. Bell, the mayor of Birmingham, draped a Confederate memorial with plastic and surrounded it with plywood. This country should in no way tolerate the hate that the KKK, Ku Klux Klan, neo-Nazis, fascists and other hate groups spew," said Bell. Alabama Attorney General Steve Marshall immediately sued Bell and the city for violating a new 2017 state law that prohibits the "...relocation, removal, alteration, or other disturbance of any monument on public property that has been in place for 40 years or more." Demopolis. Confederate Park. Renamed, Confederate Park, in 1923 at the request of the United Daughters of the Confederacy. A Confederate soldier statue was erected in 1910 at the intersection of North Main Avenue and West Capitol Street adjacent to the park. It was destroyed on July 16, 2016, when a policeman accidentally crashed his patrol car into the monument. The statue fell from its pedestal and was heavily damaged. In 2017, Demopolis city government voted 3-2 to move the damaged Confederate statue to a local museum and to install a new obelisk memorial that honors both the Union and the Confederate soldiers. Alaska Kusilvik Census Area, in 1913, Judge John Randolph Tucker named the Wade Hampton Census Area to commemorate his father-in-law. It was renamed Kusilvik Census Area in 2015 to remove the blemish of having a place named for a slave holding Confederate general. Arizona 
Fort Breckinridge, named for John C. Breckinridge, U.S. Vice President, from its opening in 1860 until 1862, when it was renamed Fort Breckinridge to distance it from Breckinridge, who had become a Confederate general. Named Camp Grant for Union General Ulysses S. Grant in 1865. Site closed in 1872, when Camp Grant was moved to a new location. Arkansas. Fort Smith Southside High School, until 2016, the school nickname was The Rebels. Its mascot was Johnny Reb, a fictional personification of a Confederate soldier. The school also discontinued the use of Dixie as its fight song. Little Rock Confederate Boulevard was renamed Springer Boulevard in 2015. The new name honors an African-American family prominent in the area since the Civil War. California Confederate Corners, established 1868. Formerly known as Springtown, it was renamed after a group of Southerners settled there in the late 1860s. Name changed back to Springtown in 2018. Long Beach Robert E. Lee Elementary School. Renamed Olivia Herrera Elementary School on August 1, 2016. Los Angeles Confederate Monument, Hollywood Forever Cemetery. Covered with a tarp and whisked away in the middle of the night after activists called for its removal and spray painted the word no on its back. August 15, 2017. Quartz Hill Quartz Hill High School. Until 1995, the school had a mascot called Johnny Reb, who would wave a Confederate flag at football games. Johnny Reb had replaced another Confederate-themed mascot, Jubilation T. Cornpone, who waved the Stars and Bars flag at football games. Slave Day. Fundraisers were phased out in the 1980s. San Diego Robert E. Lee Elementary School, established 1959. Renamed Pacific View Leadership Elementary School on May 22, 2016. Markers of the Jefferson Davis Highway, installed in Horton Plaza in 1926 and moved to the western sidewalk of the plaza following a 2016 renovation. Following the Unite the Right rally in Virginia, the San Diego City Council removed the plaque on August 16, 2017. San Lorenzo San Lorenzo High School. Until 2017, the school nickname was the Rebels, a tribute to the Confederate soldier in the Civil War. Its mascot, the Rebel Guy, was retired in 2016. The school's original mascot, Colonel Reb, was a white man with a cane and goatee who was retired in 1997. Topic: <laughs> Colorado. Breckenridge, originally named Breckenridge after Vice President John C. Breckenridge, name changed after Breckenridge became a Confederate general. District of Columbia U.S. Capitol, National Statuary Hall Collection Alabama's statue of Confederate officer Jabba's Curry was replaced by a statue of Helen Keller in 2009. Florida's statue of Edmund Kirby Smith is being replaced by one of civil rights advocate and educator Mary McLeod Bethune, which as of July, 2018, had not been finished. Confederate Memorial Hall, actually a brownstone row house at 1322 Vermont Avenue, just off Logan Circle. A home and gathering place for Confederate veterans in Washington, D.C., and later, a social hall for white politicians from the South. Became a private residence in 1997. In 2017, Washington National Cathedral removed stained glass windows honoring Robert E. Lee and Stonewall Jackson. In 2016, it had removed the small Confederate flags in those windows. Topic: <inaudible> Florida. An August 2017 meeting of the Florida League of Mayors was devoted to the topic of what to do with Civil War monuments. State symbols until 2016, the shield of the Confederacy was found in the rotunda of the Florida Capitol, together with those of France, Spain, England, and the United States, all of them treated equally as 
nations that Florida was part of or governed by. The five flags that have flown in Florida were included on the official Senate seal, displayed prominently in the Senate chambers, on its stationery, and throughout the Capitol. On October 19, 2015, the Senate agreed to change the seal so as to remove the Confederate battle flag from it. The new 2016 Senate seal has only the flags of the United States and Florida. Bradenton On August 22, 2017, the Manatee County Commission voted 4-3 to move the Confederate monument in front of the county courthouse to storage. This granite obelisk was dedicated on June 22, 1924 by the Judah P. Benjamin Chapter of the United Daughters of the Confederacy. It commemorates Stonewall Jackson, Robert E. Lee, and Jefferson Davis, and the "...memory of our Confederate soldiers." On August 24, while being moved at 3 a.m., the spire toppled and broke. The clean break is repairable, but the county recommends it not be repaired until a new home is found. No final decision has been made as of September, 2018, but the Gamble Plantation Historic State Park has been suggested as a possible new home for it. Crestview Florida's last Confederate veteran memorial, City Park 1958. In 2015, ownership was transferred to trustees of Lundy's family and the memorial was moved to private property. Soon after, research determined the memorialized man had not been a veteran but had falsified his age to get veteran benefits. After the removal of the Confederate monument and flag, the park is now referred to as the former Confederate Park. Daytona Beach In August 2017, the Daytona Beach city manager made the decision to remove three plaques from Riverfront Park that honored Confederate veterans. Gainesville Confederate monument called Old Joe. Alachua County Courthouse Lawn, erected by the United Daughters of the Confederacy and unveiled January 20, 1904. Removed from government land and returned to the United Daughters of the Confederacy in 2017, which relocated it to a private cemetery. Hollywood, street signs named for Confederate generals were removed in April 2018. Forest Street, named for CSA Lieutenant General Nathan Bedford Forrest, became Freedom Street. Hood Street, named for CSA Gen. John Bell Hood, became Hope Street. Lee Street, named for CSA Gen. Robert E. Lee, became Liberty Street. Jacksonville Following a petition with 160,000 signatures, Nathan Bedford Forest High School 1959, originally an all-white school named in protest against school desegregation, renamed Westside High School in 2014 after decades of controversy. Orlando Confederate Johnny Reb Monument, Lake Eola Park. Erected in 1911 on Magnolia Avenue, moved to Lake Eola Park in 1917. Removed from the park to a private cemetery in 2017. St. Petersburg Marker for the Stonewall Jackson Memorial Highway erected on January 22, 1939, was removed on August 15, 2017. Tallahassee the Confederate battle flag was included on the Senate seal from 1972 to 2016, when it was removed. It was also displayed in its chambers and on the Senate letterhead. In the wake of the racially motivated Charleston shootings, the Senate voted in October 2015 to replace the Confederate symbol with the Florida state flag. The new shield was in place in 2016. The Confederate stainless banner flag flew over the west entrance of the Florida State Capitol from 1978 until 2001, when Gov. Jeb Bush ordered it removed. Tampa In 1997, county commissioners removed the Confederate flag from the Hillsborough County seal. In a compromise, they voted to hang a version of the flag in the county center. Commissioners voted in 2015 to remove that flag. In 2007 the county stopped honoring Confederate History Month. In June 2017, the Hillsborough County School Board started a review of how to change the name of Robert E. Lee Elementary School in East Tampa. Memoria in Eterna. Eternal Memory. Old Hillsborough County Courthouse, in 2017 annex to the current courthouse. The monument is comprised of two Confederate soldiers, one facing north, in a fresh uniform, upright and heading to battle, and the other facing south, his clothes tattered as he heads home humbled by war. Between them is a 32-foot-tall obelisk with the image of a Confederate flag chiseled into it. It was called, 
one of the most divisive symbols in Hillsborough County. It was first erected in 1911 at Franklin and Lafayette Streets, and moved to its former location, in front of the then new county courthouse, in 1952. After voting in July 2017 to move the statue to the small Brandon Family Cemetery in the suburb that bears its name Brandon, Florida, the county commission announced on August 16 that the statue would only be moved if private citizens raised $140,000, the cost of moving it, within 30 days. The funds were raised within 24 hours. The following day Save Southern Heritage, Veterans Monuments of America, and United Daughters of the Confederacy filed a lawsuit attempting to prevent the statue's relocation. On September 5, 2017, a Hillsborough administrative judge denied their request for an injunction. Removal of the monument, which took several days, began the same day. It was cut into 26 pieces to enable its removal. It was moved on September 5, 2017 to the Brandon Family Cemetery. The county paid half the $285,000 cost. West Palm Beach Confederate Monument, Woodlawn Cemetery 1941, located at the front gate, directly behind an American flag. The only one south of St. Augustine, likely the only Confederate statue in Palm Beach and Broward counties, said historian Janet DeVries, who leads cemetery tours at Woodlawn. Vandalized several times. Removed and placed in storage by order of Mayor Jerry Moyo on August 22, 2017, since its owner, the United Daughters of the Confederacy, had not claimed it despite notification. Believed by local historians to be the last Confederate monument in Palm Beach County. Jefferson Davis Middle School. Renamed Palm Springs Middle School in 2005. Topic Georgia state flag, from 1956 to 2001 the state flag of Georgia incorporated the Confederate battle flag. The current 2018 flag incorporates a less noticeable because less familiar version of the Confederacy's first flag, the Stars and Bars. Confederate Memorial Day and Robert E. Lee Day, Georgia removed the Confederate references in 2015. They are now known as state holidays, Georgia state capital. Every governor since 1850 except Rufus Bullock has a painting hanging in the capital. Athens, a portrait of Robert E. Lee was removed from a building on the campus of the University of Georgia by the Demosthenian Literary Society. The University of Georgia dropped the word Dixie from the name of its Redcoat Marching Band in 1971, and stopped playing the song, after some students said it was offensive. Atlanta, the Atlanta Cyclorama and Civil War Museum has closed permanently. Its assets are being transferred to the Atlanta History Center. Stone Mountain, the Stone Mountain Carving Museum, opened in 1985 by sculptor Roy Faulkner, is closed. Sylvania, the Screven County Confederate Dead Monument was pulled off its pedestal and virtually destroyed between August 30 and 31, 2018. The monument had been erected on Confederate Memorial Day, April 26, 1909, and moved to the city cemetery in the 1950s when the city turned the downtown Main Street Park, where the monument was originally located, into a parking lot. The Georgia Division of the Sons of Confederate Veterans is offering a $2,000 reward for the arrest and conviction of the those involved. The reward was subsequently increased to $10,000. A photo of the destroyed monument shows a flagpole with a Confederate flag. Topic: <laughs> Kansas. Leon County. Between 1855 and 1862, Lyon County was known as Breckenridge County, named for John C. Breckenridge, U.S. Vice President and Confederate General. Wichita Confederate Flag Bicentennial Memorial 1962, removed 2015. The Confederate battle flag had been displayed at the John S. Stevens Pavilion at Veterans Memorial Plaza near downtown since 1976, when it was placed there in a historical flag display as part of the nation's bicentennial. The flag was removed July 2, 2015 by order of Mayor Jeff Longwell. Kentucky Florence Boone County High School. The mascot for the school was Mr. Rebel, a Confederate general who stands tall in a light blue uniform, feathered cap, and English mustache. It was removed in 2017. Louisville 
The Confederate monument in Louisville statue was dedicated in 1895 and was placed next to the University of Louisville on city property. It was removed and relocated to a riverfront park in Brandenburg, Kentucky in December 2016. The cost of the move was $600,000. Lexington John C. Breckinridge Memorial, Fayette County Courthouse, 1887. In November 2015, a committee, the Urban County Arts Review Board, voted to recommend removal of both the John Hunt Morgan Memorial and the John C. Breckinridge Memorial. The City Council approved the removal on August 17, 2017. They were removed October 17, 2017. They will be relocated to Lexington Cemetery. John Hunt Morgan Memorial, Fayette County Courthouse, 1911. Removed October 17, 2017. See above. Topic: Louisiana. Baton Rouge, Robert E. Lee High School, renamed Lee High School in 2016. In 2018, Lee Magnet High School sports teams, formerly Rebels, are now Patriots. New Orleans, the first Confederate monuments removed in 2017 were those of New Orleans, although it was in 2015 that the city council ordered their removal. Court challenges were unsuccessful. The workers who moved the monuments were dressed in bulletproof vests, helmets, and masks to conceal their identities because of concerns about their safety. According to Mayor Landrieu, the original firm we'd hired to remove the monuments backed out after receiving death threats and having one of his cars set ablaze. Opponents at one point found their way to one of our machines and poured sand in the gas tank. Other protesters flew drones at the contractors to thwart their work. The city said it was weighing where to display the monuments so they could be placed in their proper historical context from a dark period of American history. On May 19, 2017, the Monumental Task Committee, an organization that maintains monuments and plaques across the city, commented on the removal of the statues. Mayor Landrieu and the City Council have stripped New Orleans of nationally recognized historic landmarks. With the removal of four of our century-plus aged landmarks, at 299 years old, New Orleans now heads into our tricentennial more divided and less historic. Landrieu replied on the same day, These statues are not just stone and metal. They are not just innocent remembrances of a benign history. These monuments purposefully celebrate a fictional, sanitized confederacy, ignoring the death, ignoring the enslavement, and the terror that it actually stood for." A seven-person monument relocation committee was set up by Mayor Latoya Cantrell to advise on what to do with the removed monuments. The statue of Jefferson Davis, if their recommendation is implemented, will be moved to Beauvoir, his former estate in Biloxi, Mississippi that is now a presidential library and museum. The committee recommended that the statues of Robert E. Lee and P.G.T. Beauregard be placed in Greenwood Cemetery, near City Park Avenue and Interstate 10, where three other Confederate generals are entombed. However, this conflicts with a policy of former Mayor Mitch Landrieu, who had directed that they never again be on public display in Orleans Parish. The Battle of Liberty Place monument will remain in storage, although some white supremacist groups or individuals would no doubt be glad to have it. Battle of Liberty Place monument, erected 1891 to commemorate the Reconstruction Era Battle of Liberty Place 1874 and celebrate Louisiana's White League. Removed April 24, 2017. The workers were dressed in flak jackets, helmets and scarves to conceal their identities because of concerns about their safety. Police officers watched from a nearby hotel. Jefferson Davis Monument, cost $35,000 and was unveiled February 22, 1911, the 50th anniversary of his inauguration as President of the Confederacy, by the Jefferson Davis Monument Association, which was formed in 1898. The unveiling was preceded by an impressive military parade led by Major Allison Owen. Veterans of the Army of Tennessee, Washington Artillery, Camp Henry St. Paul, Army of Northern Virginia, veterans from the Soldiers' Home, National Guard and the Boy Scouts all attended. A group of 500 schoolgirls formed a living Confederate flag." Removed May 11, 2017. General Beauregard Equestrian Statue, erected in 1913. Removed May 17, 2017. Robert E. Lee Monument, erected in 1884. 
statue atop a 60-foot column with 12-foot on an earthen mound. Statue removed May 19, 2017. Renaming of public schools. In 1992 the school board announced plans to rename schools named after owners of slaves, if the parents, teachers, and children of each school approved. Other public schools renamed, not directly relevant to the war, were originally named for Marie Couvent a black slave owner, George Washington, William C. C. Claiborne, Samuel J. Peters, Etienne de Boré, William O. Rogers, a general school superintendent who didn't believe blacks should be educated after the fifth grade, and Edward Douglas White, Jr., a Supreme Court Chief Justice who voted to uphold the separate but equal doctrine in Plessy v. Ferguson, Jefferson Davis Elementary School renamed in 1993 for Ernest Dutch Morial, New Orleans first African American mayor. PGT. Beauregard Junior High School was renamed Thurgood Marshall Middle School, after the first black Supreme Court justice. Robert E. Lee Elementary School renamed for Ronald McNair, the black astronaut killed in the 1986 Challenger explosion. J. P. Benjamin School, named for Jefferson Davis's Secretary of War, was renamed for African American educator and civil rights activist Mary McLeod Bethune. Charles Gayere Elementary School, named for Charles Gayere, white supremacist and financial supporter of the Confederacy, was renamed after New Orleans civil rights leader Aretha Castle Haley. Francis T. Nichols High School, named for the Confederate general and governor of Louisiana, was renamed Frederick Douglass High School after the abolitionist leader Frederick Douglass. Adolph Meyer School, named for a Confederate officer and later a congressman, was renamed for the abolitionist Harriet Tubman. Benjamin Palmer School, named for a pro-slavery pastor influential in Louisiana's decision to secede and join the Confederacy, was renamed Lorraine V. Hansberry Elementary School, after the African-American playwright who wrote A Raisin in the Sun. <laughs> Maine Brunswick, Maine Confederate plaque, Bowdoin College Installed in 1965, removed in August 2017. Maryland Baltimore Confederate Soldiers and Sailors Monument Spirit of the Confederacy, Mount Royal Avenue. Defaced with red paint August 13, 2017. In 2015, defaced with yellow paint saying, Black Lives Matter. Removed August 16, 2017. Confederate Women's Monument. Charles Street and University Parkway. Removed August 16, 2017. Stonewall Jackson and Robert E. Lee Monument. On the northwestern side of the Wyman Park Dell, Charles Village, opposite the Baltimore Museum of Art, and just south of Homewood campus of Johns Hopkins University 1948. Removed August 16, 2017. Roger B. Taney sculpture. A recasting copy of the Annapolis statue 1879. Removed August 16, 2017. Ellicott City, Howard County Howard County Courthouse Confederate Monument. Dedicated in 1948. Removed on August 22, 2017. Frederick Statue of Roger B. Taney, removed August, 2017. Rockville Confederate Monument, life-size and bronze, on a granite pedestal. It was originally donated by the UDC and the United Confederate Veterans, and built by the Washington firm of Falvey Granite Company at a cost of $3,600. The artist is unknown. Inscription. To our heroes of Montgomery Co. Maryland that we through life may not forget to love the thin gray line erected A.D. 1913-1861 CSA 1865. Gray was the color of Confederate uniforms. The dedication was on June 3, 1913, Jefferson Davis's birthday, and 3,000 out of a county population of 30,000 attended. It was originally located in a small triangular park called Courthouse Square. In 1971, urban renewal led to the elimination of the square, and the monument was moved to the east lawn of the Red Brick Courthouse no longer in use as such, facing south. In 1994 it was cleaned and waxed by the Maryland Military Monuments Commission. It was defaced with, Black Lives Matter, 
In 2015, a wooden box was built over it to protect it. The monument was removed in July 2017 from its original location outside the old Rockville Court House to private land, specifically White's Ferry in Dickerson, Maryland. <laughs> Massachusetts Fort Warren, George Island, Boston Harbor Memorial to 13 Confederate prisoners who died in captivity. Dedicated in 1963, removed October 2017. Mississippi Jackson Davis Magnet Ibb School. Renamed, Barack Obama Magnet Ibb School, in 2017. Oxford Confederate Drive renamed Chapel Lane. In 2016, the University of Mississippi Marching Band, called the Pride of the South, stopped playing Dixie. The school got rid of its Colonel Reb mascot in 2003. <laughs> Missouri Kansas City, Missouri United Daughters of the Confederacy Monument on Ward Parkway the Memorial to Confederate Women, a 1934 gift by the United Daughters of the Confederacy, was defaced by graffiti on August 18, 2017 and boxed up two days later in preparation for its removal. The monument was removed on August 25, 2017. St. Louis Memorial to the Confederate Dead 1914, removed in June 2017 from Forest Park. It awaits a new home outside St. Louis city and county limits per agreement between the city and Missouri Civil War Museum in Jefferson Barracks. Confederate Drive 1914. Road removed and replaced with green space in 2017. Topic: <laughs> Montana. Helena Confederate Memorial Fountain 1916. City Council voted August 17, 2017 to remove it. It was removed on August 18, 2017. In its place is, "...a sign explaining how the monument came to be and what it originally signified." On its history, see, "...Montana and the Lost Cause." <laughs> Nevada Paradise University of Nevada, Las Vegas UNLV. .Until the 1970s, the school mascot was Beauregard, a wolf dressed in a gray military field jacket and Confederate cap. Beauregard was named for CSA Gen. P.G.T. Beauregard. <laughs> New Mexico The three Jefferson Davis highway markers in the state were removed in 2018. Topic: New York. New York City, Brooklyn. On August 16, 2017, the Episcopal Diocese of Long Island removed a 1912 plaque from a tree Robert E. Lee planted between 1842 and 1847. They also removed a second marker erected by the United Daughters of the Confederacy in 1935. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo has ordered name changes of streets named for Lee and Jackson in the Fort Hamilton section of Brooklyn. The Bronx Busts of Stonewall Jackson and Robert E. Lee are in the Hall of Fame for Great Americans at Bronx Community College formerly New York University. New York State Governor Andrew Cuomo has ordered their removal. North Carolina. A state law, the Cultural History Artifact Management and Patriotism Act of 2015, prevents local governments from removing monuments on public property, and places limits on their relocation within the property. In 2017 Governor Roy Cooper asked the North Carolina legislature to repeal the law, saying, I don't pretend to know what it's like for a person of color to pass by one of these monuments and consider that those memorialized in stone and metal did not value my freedom or humanity. 
Unlike an African American father, I'll never have to explain to my daughters why there exists an exalted monument for those who wished to keep her and her ancestors in chains. We cannot continue to glorify a war against the United States of America fought in the defense of slavery, he wrote. These monuments should come down. He also has asked the Department of Natural and Cultural Resources to determine the cost and logistics of removing Confederate monuments from state property." After the University of North Carolina renamed Saunders Hall in 2014 see below, its Board of Trustees prohibited for 16 years any more renamings. Chapel Hill A 1923 building at the University of North Carolina Chapel Hill was named for William L. Saunders, colonel in the Confederate Army and head of the Ku Klux Klan in North Carolina. In 2014, the building was renamed Carolina Hall. Silent Sam, a statue erected in 1913 at the entrance to the University of North Carolina today the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill as a memorial to its Confederate alumni, was pulled down by protesters on August 20, 2018. As of October 8, 2018, the university has not decided whether or where the statue will be restored. The Orange County Board of Commissioners voted unanimously on October 16, 2018, to remove the Jefferson Davis Highway designation from the portion of US 15 that runs through the county. A marker stands at the intersection of East Franklin Street, formerly the route of US 15, and Henderson Street in downtown Chapel Hill, adjacent to the University of North Carolina. The bronze plaque and stone pedestal were not removed immediately because it was not clear who their owner was. Charlotte a 1977 monument, erected by the Confederate Memorial Association of Charlotte and located on the grounds of the old City Hall, was vandalized and subsequently removed from location for cleaning in July 2015. Later that same month, the "'Historic Artifact Management and Patriotism Act' became law while the monument was still located in a city-owned warehouse. With a technicality, the city council voted to move the monument to city-owned Elmwood Cemetery, next to Confederate graves and an existing granite obelisk honoring Confederate soldiers. Durham Julian S. Carr Jr. High School, for whites only, built in 1928, closed in 1975. The building became part of the formerly all-white Durham High School, which closed in 1993. Since 1995 the buildings are used by the Durham School of the Arts. On August 24, 2017, the Board of the Durham Public Schools voted unanimously to remove Carr's name from the building. Confederate Soldiers Monument at the Old Durham County Courthouse, erected in 1924. It was pulled down and severely damaged during a protest on August 17, 2017. Eight individuals were arrested for destroying the memorial, but the charges were later dropped. The monument is being stored in a county warehouse. Statue of Robert E. Lee in the Duke Chapel, Duke University. Installed in the 1930s in consultation with an unnamed Vanderbilt University professor. Defaced in August 2017. After vandalism, removed August 19, 2017. On August 24, 2017, the Durham School Board banned clothing with the Confederate flag, the Nazi swastika, and symbols of the Ku Klux Klan. Hillsboro. The building that currently houses the Orange County Historical Museum, at 201 N. Churton Street, was built in 1934 and housed the White's Only Public Library. The UDC donated $7,000 towards its construction, and it was named the Confederate Memorial Library. In 1983, after the library, now the Orange County Public Library, moved into a larger facility, the museum moved in. The word "library" was removed from the lettering over the front door, but Confederate Memorial remained. In 2015, the Hillsborough Town Board voted to remove the words. Raleigh A Confederate battle flag hanging in the old North Carolina State Capitol was removed in 2013. Reedsville From 1910 to 2011, the monument stood in Reedsville's downtown area. In 2011, a motorist hit the monument, shattering the granite soldier which stood atop it. Placing the monument back in the center of town sparked a debate between local officials, neighbors and friends, which resulted in it being placed at its current site, the Greenview Cemetery. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Ohio. 
Franklin Confederate Gen. Robert E. Lee Roadside Plaque. Removed August 16–17, 2017. Columbus, Camp Chase Cemetery's Confederate Soldier Memorial. Dedicated in 1902. The statue on top was toppled and decapitated by vandals on August 22, 2017. The U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs is committed to repair the bronze statue. Worthington. An Ohio State historical marker outside the home where CSA Brigadier General Roswell S. Ripley was born was removed August 18, 2017. Willoughby Willoughby South High School, in 2017, the school dropped its rebel mascot a man dressed in a gray Confederate military outfit but kept the rebel nickname. Oklahoma Atoka, the Confederate Memorial Museum and Cemetery opened in 1986. In 2016 its name was changed to Atoka Museum and Confederate Cemetery, Tulsa, Robert E. Lee Elementary School, renamed Lee Elementary School in May, 2018, then renamed Council Oak Elementary School in August, 2018. South Carolina Columbia The Confederate battle flag was raised over the South Carolina State House in 1962 as a protest to desegregation. In 2000 the legislature voted to remove it and replace it with a flag on a flagpole in front of the Capitol as a monument. In 2015 the complete removal was approved by the required two-thirds majority of both houses of the legislature. The flag was given to the South Carolina Confederate Relic Room and Military Museum. Rock Hill in 2017, the Confederate flag and pictures of Jackson and Lee were removed from the York County Courthouse. Tennessee The 2016 Tennessee Heritage Protection Act puts the brakes on cities and counties' ability to remove monuments or change names of streets and parks. Crossville South Cumberland Elementary School, murals painted in 2003, one of a large Confederate battle flag and another showing the team's mascot, the Rebel, triumphantly holding a Confederate battle flag while a boy in a blue outfit is being lynched on a tree, were altered, removed in 2018 after it was discovered by the anti hate organization located in Shelbyville. Franklin, the Forest Crossing Golf Course, owned by the American Golf Corporation, changed its name to the Crossing Golf Course on September 22, 2017. It had been named after Confederate General and Klansman Nathan Bedford Forrest. Memphis Three Confederate-themed city parks were hurriedly renamed prior to passage of the Tennessee Heritage Protection Act of 2013. Confederate Park 1908 was renamed Memphis Park, Jefferson Davis Park 1907 was renamed Mississippi River Park, and Forest Park 1899 was renamed Health Sciences Park. The vote of the city council was unanimous. At the time the monuments were dedicated, African Americans could not use those parks. Jefferson Davis Monument located in Memphis Park, 1904-1964. The city is suing the state to get it removed. It was removed under police guard December 20, 2017. Nathan Bedford Forest Monument commissioned 1901, dedicated 1905, located in Health Sciences Park. It was installed thanks in part to Judge Thomas J. Latham's wife. It was located in the former Nathan Bedford Forest Park, in 2015 renamed Health Sciences Park. Memphis City Council officials were unanimous in seeking to have the statues removed, but were blocked by the Tennessee Historical Commission under the Tennessee Heritage Protection Act. After exploring legal remedies, statue of J. Harvey Mathis, Confederate captain, removed December 20, 2017. Murfreesboro Forest Hall ROTC building, Middle Tennessee State University. In 2006, the frieze depicting General Forrest on horseback that had adorned the side of this building was removed amid protests, but a major push to change its name failed. Also, the university's Blue Raiders athletic mascot was changed to a Pegasus from a Cavalier, in order to avoid association with General Forrest. Nashville Confederate Memorial Hall, Vanderbilt University, was renamed Memorial Hall on August 15, 2016. Since the building was built on the back of a $50,000 donation from the United Daughters of the Confederacy in 1933, the university returned to them its 2017 equivalent, $1.2 million. Prior to this, Vanderbilt was involved in a lawsuit, dating at least back to 2005, with the United Daughters of the Confederacy. 
Michael Schoenfeld, Vanderbilt's vice chancellor for public affairs, said he and other university officials had gotten death threats over his school's decision. Sewanee, Sewanee, the University of the South, Confederate flags were removed from the chapel in the mid 1990s, reportedly to improve acoustics. A portrait of Leonidas Polk was moved from Convocation Hall to Archives and Special Collections in 2015. However, two other portraits of Polk currently hang in different locations on campus. One can easily find Polk's image and influence all over Sewanee. Topic: Texas. Arlington. Six Flags over Texas theme park. In August 2017, it removed the Stars and Bars Confederate flag after flying it for 56 years along with the flags of the other countries that Texas has been part of. In the 1990s the park renamed the Confederacy section the Old South section and removed all Confederate battle flags. Austin The Texas Confederate Museum closed in 1988. It was from its opening in 1903 until 1920 in a room on the first floor of the Capitol. It then moved to the adjacent Old Land Office building, where it remained until 1998, when the building was vacated for renovation. The museum was not permitted to return. The building is now the Capitol Visitors Center. It never reopened as it never found another home. Its collections are now divided between the Haley Memorial Library and History Center in Midland and the Texas Civil War Museum in White Settlement, a suburb of Fort Worth. Robert E. Lee Elementary School, 1939, was renamed for local photographer Russell Lee in 2016. He was a prominent photographer with the Farm Security Administration and the first professor of photography at the University of Texas. Johnston High School, named for Albert Sidney Johnston, Confederate general killed in the Battle of Shiloh. The school closed in 2008. Eastside Memorial High School is now 2017 at that location. Jeff Davis Avenue. The Austin City Council voted unanimously to rename the street for William Holland, born a slave, an educator who served one term in the Texas legislature and became a Travis County Commissioner. Robert E. Lee Road. The Austin City Council voted unanimously to rename the street, whose signs had been defaced, for A. Z. Morton, the only African American to hold the office of Secretary of the Treasury. University of Texas in May 2015, the student government at the University of Texas at Austin voted almost unanimously to remove a statue of Jefferson Davis that had been erected on the campus South Mall. Beginning shortly after the Charleston Church shooting of June, 2015, Black Lives Matter was written repeatedly in bold red letters on the base of the statue. Previous messages had included, Davis Must Fall, and Liberate UT, the University of Texas. The University of Texas officials convened a task force to determine whether to honor the student's petition for removal of the statue. Acting on the strong recommendation of the task force, UT's President Gregory L. Fenvis announced on August 13, 2015 that the statue would be relocated to serve as an educational exhibit in the university's Dolph Briscoe Center for American History Museum. He said. It is not in the university's best interest to continue commemorating him Davis on our main mall. Legal action by the Sons of Confederate Veterans was unsuccessful. The statue was removed on August 30, 2015. After the removal of the Jefferson Davis statue in 2015 there were three remaining Confederate statues left on the South Mall at the University of Texas, portraying Generals Robert E. Lee and Albert Sidney Johnston, and Confederate Postmaster John H. Reagan. They were dedicated in 1933. On August 20-21, 2017 the university removed the three Confederate statues from the Austin campus grounds and relocated them to a museum. The decision was inspired by the Unite the Right rally August 10-11 in Charlottesville. Idea Allen School, a charter school, was renamed Idea Montopolis in 2018. It had been named for Confederate Army officer John T. Allen. Four other related properties in Austin are being similarly renamed. Dallas. In 2016, the John B. Hood Middle School renamed itself, with the concurrence of the Dallas Independent School District Board of Trustees, the Piedmont Global Academy. Robert E. Lee Statue 1936, located in Lee Park along Turtle Creek Boulevard. Dedicated in 1936 to celebrate the Texas Centennial Exposition. Removed September 14, 2017 after the City Council voted 13-1 to, to remove it. 
The city considered lending it to the Texas Civil War Museum in White Settlement, the only local institution willing to accept it, but declined because it would not be displayed in a historical context the Dallas City Commission found acceptable. Robert E. Lee Park, the park was temporarily renamed Oak Lawn Park until a permanent name can be approved. Lee, Gano, Richard Montgomery Gano, Stonewall, Beauregard, and Cabell, William Lewis Cabell, Mayor of Dallas, streets are currently named for Confederate generals. They will be renamed at a future date. Fort Worth Granite marker remembering pioneer banker and Confederate soldier Kleber Miller Van Zant, after the war commander of the Trans Mississippi Division of the United Confederate Veterans. Removed on August 18, 2017 and given to the Texas Civil War Museum in White Settlement, Texas, a Fort Worth suburb. Granite marker remembering a violent East Texas Ku Klux Klansman, Confederate Brig. Gen. H. P. Hinchy. Mabry. Removed on August 18, 2017 and given to the Texas Civil War Museum. Garland South Garland High School removed various Confederate symbols in 2015. A floor tile mosaic donated by the class of 1968 and a granite sign in front of the school were replaced. Both had incorporated the Confederate flag, which was part of the school's original coat of arms. In addition, the district has dropped Dixie as the tune for the school fight song. The school changed its colonel mascot's uniform from Confederate gray to red and blue in 1991. Houston Jefferson Davis Hospital was built on a Confederate graveyard and operated from 1924 to 1938. The building saw many government uses after that, but was eventually converted to artist lofts in 2004 after being listed on the National Register of Historic Places and designated a heritage landmark to be preserved in perpetuity. The hospital was named for Jefferson Davis, former president of the Confederacy, in honor of the Confederate soldiers who had been buried in the cemetery and as a means to console the families of the deceased. A second Jefferson Davis hospital operated several miles away on Allen Parkway from 1938 to 1999, when it was demolished. Dowling Street. Named for Confederate Commander Richard W. Dowling. Renamed Emancipation Avenue in 2017. The street leads to Emancipation Park. The site originally was the only municipal park available to blacks, who pooled their money in 1872 to buy the property to celebrate their freedom. Lee High School 1962. Originally known as Robert E. Lee High School, district leaders dropped the Robert E. from the school's title to distance the school from the Confederate general. School officials changed the name to Margaret Long Wisdom High School in 2016. Westbury High School changed the nickname of its athletic teams from the Rebels to the Huskies. Lakeside, Tarrant County The smallest Confederate monument, two small Confederate flags, was removed from Confederate Park in August, 2017. San Antonio Confederate Soldiers Monument, dedicated April 28, 1899, located in Travis Park next to the Alamo. Removed September 1, 2017. Robert E. Lee High School renamed Lee Legacy of Education Excellence High School, reportedly to preserve the school's history and minimize the expense of renaming, in 2017. Topic: <laughs> Utah. St. George Confederate Statue, The Rebels, 1983, removed 2012, Dixie State University. Vermont Brattleboro Brattleboro Union High School. Until 2004, the school mascot was Colonel Reb, a Confederate plantation owner. South Burlington South Burlington High School Confederate-themed Captain Rebel mascot 1961, use of the Confederate battle flag, and playing of Dixie almost immediately sparked controversy during the civil rights era and every decade since. The school board voted to retain the name in 2015 but to change it in 2017. The Rebel Alliance, a community group opposed to changing the mascot has led two successful efforts to defeat the school budget in public votes as a protest. The students choose the Wolves, and rebranding is proceeding. Virginia 
Statewide Confederate History Month April last celebrated in 2000 Bailey's Crossroads JEB Stewart High School 1958 named for Confederate General JEB Stewart Following protests by students and alumni that began in June 2015 the school board voted in July 2017 to rename the school as Justice High by the beginning of the 2019 school year the new name takes effect July 1, 2018. Charlottesville Lee Park, the setting for an equestrian statue of Robert E. Lee, was renamed Emancipation Park on February 6, 2017. In July, 2018 it was renamed again, to Market Street Park. On February 6, 2017, the Charlottesville City Council also voted to remove the equestrian statue of Lee. In April, the City Council voted to sell the statue. In May a six-month court injunction staying the removal was issued as a result of legal action by the Sons of Confederate Veterans and others. The prospect of removal, as well as the park renaming, brought numerous white supremacists, neo-Nazis, and other alt-right figures to the Unite the Right rally of August, 2017, in which there were three fatalities. In June 2016 the pedestal had been spray-painted with the words, Black Lives Matter. And overnight between July 7 and 8, 2017, it was vandalized by being daubed in red paint. On August 20, 2017, the City Council unanimously voted to shroud the statue, and that of Stonewall Jackson, in black. The Council also decided to direct the City Manager to take an administrative step that would make it easier to eventually remove the Jackson statue. The statues were covered in black shrouds on August 23, 2017. By order of a judge, the shrouds were removed in February, 2018. On September 6, 2017, the City Council voted to remove a statue of Confederate Gen. Thomas. Stonewall. Jackson from Emancipation Park. Jackson Park, named for Stonewall Jackson, was renamed Justice Park. In July, 2018, it was renamed a second time, to Court Square Park. The University of Virginia Board of Visitors trustees voted unanimously to remove two plaques from the university's rotunda that honored students and alumni who fought and died for the Confederacy in the Civil War. The university also agreed to acknowledge a $1,000 gift in 1921 from the Ku Klux Klan and contribute the amount, adjusted for inflation, to a suitable cause. Doswell Major amusement park King's Dominion operated the popular Rebel Yell roller coaster from the park's 1975 opening until 2017. The ride's name referenced the Rebel Yell, a battle cry used by Confederate soldiers during the Civil War. On February 2, 2018, the park announced that the attraction would be renamed to Racer 75. Beginning in the 2018 season, although King's Dominion did not comment on the relationship between the name change and the previous name's Confederate roots in its press release. Fairfax County Former J.E.B. Stewart High School reopened as Justice High School in September 2018. The school is near Munson Hill, Stewart's headquarters. It was given Stewart's name in 1958 as part of the county's massive resistance against the U.S. Supreme Court order to end racial segregation of public schools. Falls Church Front Royal The Segregation Academy John S. Mosby Academy, named for Confederate hero John S. Mosby, was founded in 1959 as an all-white school. It closed in 1969. Hampton, Robert E. Lee Elementary School, closed 2010. Lexington in 2011, the City Council passed an ordinance to ban the flying of flags other than the United States flag, the Virginia flag, and an as-yet undesigned city flag on city light poles. Various flags of the Confederacy had previously been flown on city light poles to commemorate the Virginia holiday Lee Jackson Day, which is observed on the Friday before Martin Luther King Jr. Day. About 300 Confederate flag supporters, including members of the Sons of Confederate Veterans, rallied before the city council meeting, and after the vote the Sons of Confederate Veterans vowed to challenge the new local ordinance in court. Court challenges have not been successful and the ordinance remains in effect. The city tried to prevent individuals from flying Confederate flags on their own property, but a 1993 federal injunction blocked effort. On the campus of Washington and Lee University, a large Confederate battle flag and a number of related flags were removed from the Lee Chapel in 2014. 
Close to Lee Chapel is the Older Grace Episcopal Church, where Lee attended. In 1903 the church was renamed the R. E. Lee Memorial Church. In 2017 the church changed its name back to Grace Episcopal Church. Lynchburg A statue of Confederate veteran George Morgan Jones was removed from the Randolph College grounds on August 25, 2017. Petersburg, three schools were renamed effective July 1, 2018. A $20,000 private donation covered the costs. AP. Hill Elementary became Cool Spring Elementary. Robert E. Lee Elementary became Lakemont Elementary. J.E.B. Stewart Elementary became Pleasance Lane Elementary. Richmond. In February 2000, the City Council voted to change the names of the J.E.B. Stewart and Thomas J. Stonewall. Jackson Bridges, which cross the James River, to the names of Samuel Tucker and Curtis Holt, two local notables in the civil rights movement. J.E.B. Stewart Elementary School 1922 was renamed Barack Obama Elementary School in 2018. Roanoke Stonewall Jackson Middle School was renamed John P. Fishwick Middle School in July, 2018. Staunton, Robert E. Lee High School 1967, to be renamed. As of October, 2018, the new name has not been chosen. Washington State Bellingham Pickett Bridge, commemorating an earlier wooden bridge erected by U.S. Army Capt. Pickett over Whatcom Creek. Sign erected in 1920, was removed August 18, 2017, along with signs leading to Pickett House. Blaine A stone marker at the northernmost end of the state designating Highway 99 the Jeff Davis Highway was erected in the 1930s by the Daughters of the Confederacy, with state approval. It was removed in 2002 through the efforts of State Representative Hans Dunshi and city officials, and after it was discovered that the highway was never officially designated to memorialize Davis by the state. The marker stone was moved to Jefferson Davis Park, a private park operated by the Sons of Confederate Veterans just outside Ridgefield right beside I-5. Everett in 2002, the Washington House of Representatives unanimously approved a bill proposed by Hans Dunshee to rename part of Washington State Route 99, which had been the Jefferson Davis Highway. The bill, however, was killed by a committee of the state Senate. In March 2016, the Washington State Legislature unanimously passed a joint memorial that asked the state's Transportation Commission to designate the road as the William P. Stewart Memorial Highway to honor an African-American volunteer during the Civil War who later settled in the nearby city of Snohomish. In May 2016, the Transportation Commission agreed to rename the road. Vancouver In 1998, officials of the city of Vancouver, Washington, removed a marker of the Jefferson Davis Highway formerly U.S. Route 99 and placed it in a cemetery shed. This action later became controversial when the issues surrounding the Blaine marker were being discussed in the state legislature in 2002. The marker was subsequently moved twice more, to eventually be placed alongside Interstate 5 on private land purchased for the purpose of giving this marker a permanent home in 2007. Seattle The Robert E. Lee tree was one of many trees in Seattle's Ravenna Park dedicated to persons of note. The tree and plaque were removed in 1926. East Wenatchee Robert E. Lee Elementary School 1955. The school district rejected a name change in 2015, and again in 2017. In 2018 it voted to change the name to Lee Elementary School. Wisconsin Madison Confederate Rest Section of Forest Hill Cemetery this section of the cemetery contains the remains of more than 100 Confederate soldiers who died as prisoners of war at nearby Camp Randall. In 2015, a flag pole was removed from the section. The pole had been used to fly the Confederate flag for one week around Memorial Day. In August 2017, Madison Mayor Paul Soglin ordered the removal of a plaque and a larger stone monument, erected in 1906 with UDC funding. The plaque, which referred to the interred Confederates as valiant Confederate soldiers and unsung heroes, was removed on August 17, 2017. 
Removal of the stone monument, which contains the names of the soldiers buried there, did not take place immediately because or of legal challenges and logistical concerns. On October 2, 2018, the Madison City Council voted 16-2 for its removal, overruling a landmark commission's recommendation that it stay. Canada Montreal In 1957, the United Daughters of the Confederacy had a plaque installed on the outer wall of a Hudson's Bay Company store, commemorating Jefferson Davis's brief stay in the city. The plaque was removed following the Charlottesville Unite the Right rally of August, 2017, under pressure from the public. See also Decommunization in Ukraine a similar campaign of monument and memorial removals in Ukraine since 2014 Denazification, removal of Nazi symbols in Germany after World War II List of monuments and memorials of the Confederate States of America Memorials to Abraham Lincoln Memorials to Martin Luther King Jr. Monument controversies in the United States roads must fall, statue removal campaign in South Africa and Oxford University Neo-Confederate modern display of the Confederate flag. Further reading Balco, Radley We should treat Confederate monuments the way Moscow and Budapest have treated communist statues. Washington Post. Horwitz, Tony. August 16, 2017. Is the Confederacy finally about to die for good? Washington Post. Fortin, J.C. August 17, 2017. Toppling Monuments: A Visual History. New York Times. ISSN 0362-4331. Retrieved 10 October 2017. Confederate monuments are coming down across the United States. Here's a list. New York Times. August 16, 2017. Astor, Maggie, Fandos, Nicholas. August 17, 2017. Confederate leaders' descendants say statues can come down. New York Times. ISSN 0362-4331. Retrieved 10 October 2017. Fortin, J.C. August 17, 2017. Toppling Monuments, A Visual History. New York Times. Newkirk II, Van R. August 22, 2017. Growing Up in the Shadow of the Confederacy. The Atlantic. Retrieved 10 October 2017. Applebaum, Anne. August 25, 2017. Ukraine has finally removed all 1,320 Lenin statues. Our turn. Washington Post. Retrieved 10 October 2017. Empty pedestals, what should be done with civic monuments to the Confederacy and its leaders? Civil War Times. 56 5. October 1, 2017. Retrieved March 5, 2018. Hallman, J. C. November 2017. Monumental Error. Harper's Magazine. PP front page 27 to 30 32 to 37 subscription required Shane Matthew Bananos Christopher July 23rd to August 5th 2018 absence of history the spaces where bronze confederates once stood photographs New York magazine PP 12 to 13 Holloway Cali August 9th 2018 Charlottesville vs. the Neo-Confederacy, How Right-Wingers in High Places Are Keeping Racist Statues. Salon Video Gannon, James October 25, 2018. A Moral Debt, The Legacy of Slavery in the USA. Notes <laughs>